from Opus Sanctorum Angelorum. This is Father Ludwig Oppel from the Order of Canons Regular of the Holy Cross and I would like to share some uh, thoughts about issue one on the upcoming election on November 7th in Ohio. This is based on uh, something I found in one of our free newspapers. It's from Ohio Roundtable. It's very short, but it's very helpful also. So some thoughts from this source and also I will add some of my own own thoughts also. So let's let's read first. Uh, first we'll read piece by piece and then I'll say some things. So the text, no? be it resolved by the people of the state of Ohio that Article 1 of the Ohio Constitution is amended to add the following section. Here, uh, it's interesting to mention that Article 1 is the Bill of Rights. So then, it's rather cynical, I think, that we have in the Bill of Rights section where uh, right to life is one of the, well, the most important right in the Bill of Rights. And then we have the right to kill little children in the maternal womb. So that is cynical, at least. Point A. Every individual has a right to make and carry out one's own reproductive decisions, including but not limited to decisions on contraception, fertility treatment, continuing one's own pregnancy, miscarriage, care and abortion. So here are some things very important. Um, first of all, this language is very, very vague and leaves every, every kind of interpretation open. So first of all, every individual, that means every one, also children, also minors. So if, if you, your daughter gets pregnant at the age of 13, 14, whatever, she has a right to make this decision whether she wants to have the child or not. You cannot, as a parent, you cannot do anything. So this, this is, it, it, it's hidden. No? And this is the evil, evil stuff about that. It's hidden in the text, but every individual has that right then to do an abortion contraception, fertility treatment, whatever that means. Every individual has the right to make and carry out is still more clear. No? There's no parental consent necessary for minors. They have a decision, they make a decision and they carry it out. No? Then we have all these five points, contraception and so forth. And uh, but I want to point out, this is much farther. It says, including but not limited to decisions on, which means, so you, it means everything. Yeah. Gender selection, abortions, so you can have, I want to have a boy, so let's kill all girls. Harvesting body parts, so that is a common practice in the largest, uh, largest uh, abortion industry provider. Some discoveries made about that, pretty clear. Chemical castration, which is done by whatever to, to minors. Trans surgery on minors. So, including but not limited to, opens everything. Everything is on the table here. And there is nothing, as, as a parent, there is nothing you can do. No. It's just the right of everybody, adult as well as minor. And then uh, the last point, it simply states as a fifth point, abortion. Which means abortion in whatever form or shape up to the ninth month. No. There is no limitation here. Abortion, period. No. Yeah, it's 
pretty extreme. No? This was point A, now point B. The state shall not directly or indirectly burden, penalize, prohibit, interfere with or discriminate against either one, an individual's voluntary exercise of this right or two, a person or entity that assists the individual exercising this right. Unless the state demonstrates that it is using the least restrictive means to advance the individual's health in accordance with widely accepted and evidence-based standards of care. So, uh, the state shall not do all that. So, first of all, what is state? Will, will be defined later, I can get to that right now. State uh, m includes any government entity and any political subdivision. So that is from farther below. That means it includes zoning boards, city councils, school boards. So a school board can make decisions now about abortion of your, your child. Great. What is also interesting is shall not discriminate and so forth against a person or entity that assists an individual exercising this right. That means uh, it's kind of this uh, groups, interest groups in schools instructing minors on sex, sexual practices, instructing minors on abortion and, and all, all these things. So it's all in, in the Ohio code, nothing you can do as a parent to prevent that if this is passed. And then, uh, unless the state, I mean, these are just empty phrases, you know, because unless the state demonstrates that it is using the least restrictive means to advance the individual's health, which is very open and undefined mental health, maybe, whatever it is, and uh, in accordance with widely, widely accepted and evidence-based standards of care, widely accepted, whatever that is, what is widely accepted, undefined, and as well evidence-based standards of care. Nobody knows what that is. So it's all open. You know, it's very wide language. Anything goes. So now comes however. And then it kind of gets, gets kind of more cynical. However, abortion may be prohibited after fetal, uh, fetal uh, viability, but in no case may such an abortion be prohibited if in the professional judgment of the pregnant patient's treating physician, it is necessary to protect the pregnancy patient's life or health. So in no case, it shall not. So this is, is kind of ruling that out. So the abortion shall not be. Uh, I, I put it in my words. So if the abortion is thinks the child is not viable, or if if he thinks well, there is some some problem with the, the, the woman's health, pregnant mother's health, the abortionist thinking that because he is the treating doctor. No? So. Again, I mentioned it's cynical. This is, it's, it sounds nice, however, abortion may be prohibited. It's nonsense. First of all, it may be prohibited. It doesn't say it shall be or it will be. It is maybe, it's probably not in the first place. May be prohibited if the abortionist thinks, well, there is really no problem with the woman. And I think, I, I bet you he finds something, don't you think? That is cynical. So, um, next section is kind of a definition. Fetal, uh, fetal viability means, means the point in a pregnancy when in the professional judgment of the pregnant patient's treating physician the fetus has a significant likelihood of survival outside the uterus with reasonable measures. This is determined on a case-to-case -case basis. 
So in, in this case-to-case -case basis, the abortionist certainly will say, well, yeah, the, let, let's get the abortion, it's better for you. Don't you think? No? It's his business. I mean, just don't be talking about um, uh, women's rights or, or this is kind of better for women to, to do an abortion. I mean, women, I just talked to a, to a, a lady today and, and she said, oh yeah, abortion hurts women so much. This is all not a problem here. No? It's just money. It's just uh, abortion industry wants to push that through. Money for that issue one comes practically all from out of state no? and, and they want to push that through, can make more money and kill more babies. Okay, then the uh, last thing is still, um, I read it already, but it's very short, so let's do it again. State includes any government entity and any political subdivision. So, up to the school board. Mm -hmm. And the last thing is, this section is self-executing. That means, uh, summa summarum, there will be no way after this would be passed, which God hope will, will prevent. Uh, or the voters of Ohio, with God's grace, will prevent. But if it passes, there's no way you can do anything against abortion anymore. And so, um, just the other day, I got a, we got a, a letter in the mail from a kind of pro-issue uh, one group, which says one of the advantages would be the extreme Ohio abortion laws would be restricted. And I, I don't think uh, there's anything extreme of wanting to protect human life. And this is what the Ohio abortion law does. It's nothing extreme, but it's everything about, about this issue one is extreme. Extreme to a point where I hope everybody will see that and vote no. So I, I really uh, invite you and urge you Please uh, go voting and vote no. This is, I think, every Christian or every person probably I mean, have, has to do that. There's no, no way you can justify that before your conscience. That I voted yes for that. It's no justification. How would you do that? So then let's pray that this does not pass and uh, may God bless you and keep you.